Hey people of the VC, it's Andy Cloudy Mulder with a quick competition entry video for a brutal angel, um, Andrew from Ireland. He's uh, one of the younger members of the, uh, the VC. Uh, been around for about a year or so, I think, but hasn't been hasn't posted a lot of videos and um, just started posting uh, again recently. He's just reached 25 subs, so he's uh, been very brave and, and having a competition. Uh, with 25 subs and I thought it'd be cool to um, throw in an entry and promote his channel a bit more because I'd like to see him uh, get up to at least 50 uh, subs uh, as quick as we can. I know that between us so uh, we can do it. Uh, so he's, um, as I say, he's a, he's a, he's a younger, younger guy but um, very much has a, a great heavy metal uh, education. Um, in the few videos that he's put up so far, he's shown um, records by Metallica, Iron Maiden, Creator, Megadeth, Judas Priest. Um, so he knows his stuff, and um, you know he's very enthusiastic when he's, he's showing his records as well, which is uh, great to see. So, so he's having a 25 uh, subs competition. Um, kept it nice and simple as well. Um, three. Pick three um, different genres or subgenres or whatever, and show two albums uh, that represent that genre. Um, so I'm going to jump straight into it. Um, so obviously I'm show mostly metal on my channel. Um, one subgenre of metal I don't show a lot of, and I don't have a lot of, is kind of the sleazy uh, metal. So I picked up two albums from that just to, to show them. So I'm not sure if I've shown this before. I think one of them I have. But uh, first up. Uh, Sleaze Bees from uh, 1990. <coughs> it's just screwed, blued, and a tattoo. It's a really it's a good album, actually. It's uh, quite upbeat. Um, has explicit lyrics, though, so you have to listen to it with your mum and dad. Um, I think that's what parental advisory means, anyway. Um, but yeah, you can classic sort of late 80s, early 90s. So easy metal uh, style. Uh, so that's the first one. Uh, second one is this was a, uh, a blind buy when I, I got it, uh, but again a, a, a good, a successful blind buy. So this is a self-titled debut album from um, Sea Hags, and this was uh, 1989. Um, this is a pretty good album actually. I, I like this one. Uh, it took me a little while to, to get into it. I got this in a charity shop. Um, Music charity shop, uh, so got a price tag four pounds. Um, about two and a half years ago, and they've got an interesting story behind them. Interesting, but very tragic. Um, they, got, I think, they got a kind of a little bit of ahead of themselves in terms of their success and trying to be um, very Guns and Roses and the, uh, the drinks and drugs and or what have you, and ended up. Um, pretty much imploding after this album with people leaving and um, people dying, uh, which um, is always going to um, it's always going to be a blocker on your uh, on your career. Um, early demos uh, were apparently um, produced by Kirk Hammett of Metallica, so he must have seen something in them early on. But uh, as I say, they didn't do themselves any favours and uh, disappeared off the face of the earth. In fact, I believe the drummer, Adam Maples, actually had a stint in Guns N' Roses for a short time. Um, but don't quote me on that. Yeah, so Sea Hags, this album. Uh, next genre um, is, if you're used to watching my videos, then um, you'll know that I'm a big fan of Steak and Steak are the band that got me uh, into stoner music. This is their brand new album, uh, No God to Save. Only came out yesterday. I've not even spun it yet, so I couldn't tell you what it's like, but I know I am going to love it. I have all their stuff on vinyl, one of my favourite uh, modern stoner rock bands. Uh, I'll show this one in um, a general collection update uh, coming up soon. I've had a chance to, to have a listen to it. Uh, another one of my favourite bands uh, in this genre is Mothership. Again, they, they have a new album out which I don't have yet. I don't think it's on vinyl, um, but I'm probably gonna, I'll probably pick up the CD. But uh, Mothership again, a nice sort of infectious, um, lightweight. Uh, if you're looking to get into stony music, I think uh, Stony Rock, I think uh, Mothership are a great uh, band to, to choose from. 
Uh, my third genre, uh, going to go off metal, go more to um, indie, alternative rock, uh, a band that I uh, loved a lot in the 90s, uh, saw live as well, that's uh, Dinosaur Jr. This is um, this is all I have for them on vinyl, well actually no, I've got a couple of singles, this is the only sort of 12 inch that I have on vinyl um, for them, called Fossils, and it's a compilation of three singles. Uh, I bought this simply because it's got uh, Freak Scene on it, and that's my favourite Dinosaur Jr. track, and one of my favourite songs of all time. Um, so if you've not heard Freak Scene, do check that one out. But there we go, Dinosaur Jr. Fossils. And last but not least, uh, The Pixies. Um, I picked this one because this is probably the most metal Pixies ever got. So they are an uh, indie rock band, a uh, very good indie rock band, but on Trump the Monde, they kind of went a little bit heavier. Um, and there's some uh, songs like Planet of Sound, um, uh, Head On, Alec Eiffel, Subculture, all very, very cool stuff. So that's my second album from my third uh, genre. Um, yeah, go and check out um, Brutal Angel's channel. Let's get his uh, sub count up. Um, yeah, I, uh, I will be back with a, a collection update uh, very soon. I've got uh, a box down there bursting at the seams waiting to uh, waiting to be uh, shown and to, to be talked about. Um, there should be a link over here if you haven't subscribed. So click that one and maybe check out some of those videos over there. And um, see you soon.